Hello everybody here in YouTube land. This is Amateur Artist Mark D. Channel once again from Man Land. And I'm sitting here on Bone Yard Porch as an introduction to this here particular video. Now, this is one of those rare videos that you'll see in reality. Most people, and I mean, I say most people, I don't know them personally. I've not watched them actually shoot the videos or to edit anything. I'm a little bit embarrassed to show this video because it was a success and it turned out to be a failure. The reason being, look, I know how to cook and I know how to cook on a campfire. And I knew that when I added the cabbage and the onions toward the end of the video, wrong decision. However, in my defense, which is not really defensive, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not trying to glorify drinking alcohol, but I do. Most people that know me now know that I do, and I don't glorify it. I don't say it's a great thing for people to do, and I don't try to make fun of it. I don't try to sit there and make it, make, make make people think it's a fun way to live life. It's not, but it is for me. But it was the alcohol that caused me to make the wrong decision in this particular video because it ended up being what I call blackened chicken something burnt either the chicken skin either the cabbage or the bacon now ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna tell you right now I can't see the I can't see the cabbage burning and I did not expect the bacon to burn I think it was actually the chicken skin because we really overcooked this chicken you'll see when I said it was ready you was ready to go that's when we add the cabbage and the bacon but there you go don't I'm not making excuses I'm not gonna make an excuse this is reality It's fun and it actually tasted pretty dang good according to everybody else that ate it me personally I didn't like it because I didn't like the aftertaste Ugh. I did not like the aftertaste so here you go here's the video manland 121 dutch oven cooking uh, i mean i hate to show this freaking video <laughs> Kids, don't try this at home. Go to somebody else's house and do it. Oh, you don't wear it. I want y'all to see this right here. This is a marinated chicken right here. We just got it seasoned. Gonna put it back in the refrigerator and give it about an hour or so. Maybe two hours, something like that to marinate. And it would be really, really good overnight. Now on this here little young fryer, which is wrapped in cellophane plastic, this puppy here has got some Worcestershire sauce, some ranch dressing, Italian seasoning. It's got some of that uh, Louisiana habanero hot sauce on there black pepper oh man it is in some salt it's gonna be good got inside the cabinet we kept all the giblets that's right giblets not giblets giblets we're gonna cook it in the dutch oven on the campfire mm, this is gonna be good alrighty there's the seasoned refreshed Ozark Trails Dutch oven look at how pretty that thing looks got here on the campfire so we got a long cooking process to go here it's setting it's, it's hanging above the coals here but I gotta raise it up some more because we're doing do some Dutch oven cooking here we don't want that thing to burn those coals are mighty warm got a hammer claw hammer works good for a lift 
it works really good. There's the seasoned chicken. We've got liver, gizzards, and chicken necks on top of it. And it's already starting to boil. This thing is too hot. i got to raise it up. Get the coals on top. And get this thing cooking. About a two to three hour process. We've got to add the beer to it. There it is. Oh. Alrighty. Now. Uh, for the uh, secret ingredient. This is the secret and final. We got it. We got it suspended here. That, that right there is a claw hammer y'all. It works. It works. Great lid lifter. On the Bones Yard uh, Shepherd Staff, driven into the ground, you can uh, take it and you can turn it away from the fire. No, sir. That's okay, man. there we go. Hey, you... There we go. Right, it's my idea, but it's your staff. I'll put it that way. We, we built it together. Yeah, we built it together. And, uh, of course, then we have this uh, rack. Make sure I get it back over here to the fire. Ugh. Now, got the rack set up here for the uh, uh, general cooking, like hanging general stuff on there, you know, I mean, you name it, we can do it. We got a full set up here, and if that's not enough, we got the Bones Yard, I would say Manland inspired, but he didn't know I actually inspired it. The uh, filing cabinet guts from the filing cabinet. But it's the stainless steel rack he put on top of it. I actually had one, and unfortunately, y'all, I misidentified it. I thought I, I thought he used mine. When I moved from State Line out here, he got his own. So, Bones Yard actually had the exact same idea. And what's great about that is, is that my idea would have worked. That's all I'm screaming. Bones Yard actually did it first. There it is, video proof. He actually did it. And you know what bones are? It don't matter who did it first. It's the fact that it freaking works. So you can use a file cabinet to cook on a campfire grill. No doubt about it. I was just standing next to the mater. <laughs> now, claw hammer. Claw hammer. Can't take credit for that. Cannot re even remember what YouTube video I saw. But that claw hammer. Go ahead and grab it, bone. Take the lid off while I'm sitting here stable. Claw hammer hammer. Takes the lid off your cast iron. Is it sealed? What? 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 <laughs> Watching this lip right here. Oh. It's the lip. Bone is not like a uh, super strong one. This right, here huh? is catching that right oh, there. Oh, come on, man. It's not even touching it, man. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Twist. Lift it up. There it is. There it is. The hell is that? Now, that's a... That's, that's a... Is that a liver on top? That's liver. And gizzard. It's already boiling. And we have a... Uh, need some beer in there? Yeah, we need some beer. Just a little bit. And some beer. And we're gonna need some more beer than that. I gotta so, go get some more beer. Yeah, we gotta I go do some more beer, more beer, more but beer. This right here, seriously. This is the I'm secret catching. ingredient for this here. It was catching on this uh, right here. Second. This is it. I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, this is the secret ingredient. We're gonna let it cook about two to three hours, somewhere in there. Keep an eye on it. It's gonna be super tender. You need a lot more beer. Uh, yeah, we need more beer. We gotta keep it moist. And it's not beer abuse. No, it's not, because it's going to be beer ingested. We've been up there watching YouTube videos, so we've been sidetracked for about two hours. Well, I ain't. Yeah, well, I I've have. Been You've been cooking. Oh, that's right. You shot a YouTube video. Yeah. See, Moe shot a YouTube video. I've been responding to a few comments on my video, and I was processing the Dutch oven, trying to reseason it, and y'all see how pretty that looks. It's perfect. It's ready to go. It's only two treatments, by the way. I just got to repaint my ceilings after you seasoned your. Well, that's beside the point, man. You got you got hazards. You got hazards, and yeah, cast iron comes come first, man. Cast iron comes first. I gotta repaint my ceilings. It doesn't matter. Leave them black. They all match. Guitar <laughs> <laughs> dragging up all this dead wood. Dead wood makes fires. Burn hotter, a flame. It's all work and no play. Makes bones a dull boy. Woo -wee. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that sudden stop. <laughs> I told you to get off. call it 
that fun. <laughs> Try that again. Go, do, go backwards. Maybe I can. Go back. Wait a minute, man. <laughs> Is it starting to give away? <laughs> Not on the dip. Yeah, we had game. We had game. Oh, no. Help. Help. Oh, man. <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's a boiling. So I need to add more beer? No, you don't need no more moisture in there. Yeah. None. Yeah. None. Flavor, man. Flavor. Put a little bit more in there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. And look, ladies and gentlemen, I ain't gonna lie to you. Smells good. Bud light only. Hey, is that chicken neck? That's a chicken neck. That man. I got yours in there, Bone. That man. I did. You got the uh, 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 Well. It's kind of hard to do this with the camera and right, well, it, 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 well I can't I can't do this on the shepherd staff. It bouncy bouncy bouncy. It's gonna flip over. No, it ain't gonna flip over. No, it feels like it is. No. It ain't gonna flip over. My handle crooked. It melted. Ozark trails. You need to work on that handle, man. Y'all needs to work on that handle. It warps. Warps. Under extreme heat. It works. It warps. W a r p s. KS's. is warp is W O R. It works, but it warps. Y'all see how quick that handle is? Yeah, you see. That comes from. But that's not a negative. It. It's not a negative. It's from seasoning it here on the campfire like you're supposed to do and getting down and dirty with it. But I'm just telling you right now. It comes from Walmart today. Mm, yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. How about a half a stick? It's not bad. Yeah, half a stick be good. Butter that lady up. Mm. Oh, you want some more beer in there? What is, is the, is the uh, liquid going down? It ain't gonna hurt, man. What does that look like? I don't know. Turn it up. Flashlight, there we go. Looking good. Oh, yeah. What? Flashlight quit again. My work flashlight, mini mag, no, LED. Over. No, that's a cold. That's what I like. That's a cold. This is another mini shout out for James Humor. We talking about old school style, and uh, well, you know you can't teach teach youth anything nowadays because they constantly on the internet and playing video games. Now that's not true about putting it. Uh, that's not true. I just. Use him as an excuse to sit there and make fun of the youth. Now that's old school. That's very old school. That's uh, Doc Bones, aka Two Five. Uh, I just cook good. He he cooks Not very good. good. Cook. Yeah, I just cook good. That's right. <laughs> and this of course, this of course is uh, old school cooking right here. Simple Dutch oven over open campfire. Nothing big and bad. Nothing fancy. Oh, it'd be right. Oh, look at that chicken. Look at that chicken. Let's put it over here above the fire. Look at the light on it. Oh, yeah. She's laid open. She's actually fully cooked. But, y'all, we got to do something else here. We got hey, some bacon. Look at that. And we got some cabbage. Seriously. Seriously. What, what's that? Is that liver on the bottom of this? Yeah, it could be. Hey, 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 hey. I can't. can't. You got the light. Is that liver? It's liver. How'd it get on top? I don't know. Ooh, it's ooh, it's tender. That's tender. Eat it. I'm gonna try it. Look, watch me. That's Look liver. That. Liver. Oh. Don't see how good it is. It's hot. No, it's got no flavor. I don't see how good it is. It's hot. But it's good. Is it really? Mm-hmm. It's, it's actually a little it needs some salt. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Hey, flavor. No salt. Flavor. Putting the liver. Where's it back in there? Now, yeah. Right the legs have been broke right off. Right there. That means she's cooked. They're not quite. She's cooked. She's getting there. Then we got bacon. Bacon? We're going to add some bacon to it. Yeah, I don't hear it. Come on. Let me go Spread get the beer. bacon out. How about the rest of this butter? Yeah, we need some butter in there too. All right, there's the rest of the bacon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I got a lot of cabbage. 
a whole cabbage I cooked up. Oh my goodness, that's too much. It's gonna cook down, but I gotta get it in there somehow or another. Let me throw that butter in there. Let me get all this, uh, you put the butter in there. Put without it on the top. paper, without the paper. Yeah, yeah, and then we're gonna put the bacon on top. This is one pot cooking. This is bushcraft style. This is old school cooking. Top ain't gonna fit on it now. That give it. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna fit. We're gonna we're gonna make it work. Gotta put an interjection here right now. Now look, I you know what? I'm I hate putting in excuses for the way things turn out. But that chicken at this point or at that point was very perfectly cooked. No need to go any further. It was ready to come off the fire. However, my wife suggested earlier when we were cooking this thing for us to put some cabbage in, well, to cook some cabbage. The cabbage finally arrived, and we had to cook it in a one-pot method, which was way too late to add to this dish and meal. The bacon wasn't going to hurt, because bacon ain't going to burn at this point. The cabbage, and cooking it longer to cook the cabbage, in my opinion, this is, to me, the reason why this is called blackened chicken. I wasn't very impressed with the final result. Everybody else here at Bones Yard, including my wife, loved the final process. I did not. I'm stating here and now, I did not like how this meal turned out. Period. And the fact that at that particular time, cooking another hour to an hour and a half, well, I was already intoxicated at this point. I didn't need to go no further. Sheesh. But they loved it. They ate the leftovers. They wanted every piece of it. I cooked another chicken here last night in the Dutch oven in a conventional oven. Turned out perfect without the cabbage. Wish I'd have some cabbage to sit there and prove my point of concept. Know what I mean? Mm. Well, it's not like I'm trying to defend my cooking, but I'm going to let you know, y'all, this video you saw here that you're watching now, uh uh, it was some blackened burnt cabbage and to me it had a good taste but in the long run it left that aftertaste in your mouth and wasn't that good so I'm definitely going to revisit this but here's the rest of the video just so you know not Manland approved try that what did you just grab chicken little piece of cabbage Got some mm -hmm. onions in there. Try that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Well, naturally, you're from the hospital, so anything tastes good for you now. So, no, you know I like here's cabbage. a Northern Yankee. Let me tell you something. I'm, you know I like cabbage mm -hmm. anyway. What do you think? Dead straight. It's All right, Papa, come over here and try one. What was it? I'm gonna give my official taste test. Hello. All right, here. Back up. I'm trying to hold the camera steady. He's like, "What the heck do I eat here?" All right, here we go. Here we go. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Reach in there with your Hello. finger, man. Piece of chicken. Hello. Got a little cabbage flavor. Hey. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. So you got a little bit of the burnt cabbage, chicken. I and actually, I think that's the bacon. That, is that bacon? That's the bacon. Oh man, bacon burnt? Oh, nah, I can't that's believe bacon. that. That bacon? Hey, that's the bacon. That's cabbage. Uh, I don't know, but I kind of like this. Oh, that. What is? What is it? That's bacon. That's bacon. Yeah, the that's bacon got a little bit burnt on the edges. Bacon burnt. Oh man. So we got some raw bacon, some burnt bacon, cabbage. We didn't stir because it had a whole chicken in there, but. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nah, that's right. But now, here comes Bone Yard. Bone Yard's gonna be the next. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a raw bacon. Raw bacon, right? let me see. Raw bacon, yeah. right there. Oh, 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 what you got? With some cabbage on it. Oh, yeah. Chicken. Cabbage, chicken flavored, raw bacon and cabbage. Let me try it. Mm. Here we go. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh. Hey, that's good stuff. Hey, this is all trial and error, trial and error. We need some cheese in it. 
Oh, come on, man. <laughs> it needs a little bit of seasoning to it to me. I, it, mm. But to be bland, yeah, to be bland, too thick. It needs a little extra flavor, in my opinion, but you know, add a little salt and pepper to it. And, yeah, oh, that chicken leg. There we go. That chicken leg. Hey, is the chicken done? The chicken is well done. Well, it shouldn't be burnt. It's well. Now, you got to measure everything? Well, it's something. <laughs> something? Yeah, a little leg. I like dark meat. I like some dark meat, too. The last time I had me some dark meat, my white meat wife told me I couldn't no longer have dark meat dark meat it's a little hot so it needs to Tony Chatteris in it ah see uh, baby you didn't buy no Tony to Chatteris how would I supposed to know? The chicken itself is fine. The cabbage needs a little Tony Shatter's on it. Yeah, 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 I agree, I agree. Hmm. Uh, but that's a meal. Is it good, bad, or ugly? Good enough. What? It's ugly. but it's edible. Cabbage and chicken? I can't do that. <laughs> you know. I done double dip. Uh, go ahead and double dip. Yeah. Right, that's Darn. Good. Wait, yeah, I'm gonna try the bacon. Try that bacon. That's a raw, raw piece of bacon. Well, That's raw bacon. I'm gonna get that. Yeah. It cooked, but it's raw. Yeah. Bubba mm -hmm. had a blackened bacon. Raw bacon. Little chicken leg, cabbage. Mm. Uh huh. You don't think so? Why? You never roll that. That's what I call. Bone yard backyard cooking. That's, that's, that's trial man and error. Style. Yeah, man and style. Trial and error, folks. Trial and error. And it's daggum good from what I tasted, but I ain't gonna sit there and tell you it's gonna win no awards. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Ooh, uh -huh. triple dip. All right, triple dip. <laughs> I don't care for breast though. I don't either. I don't like it. Yeah. I like the legs. I like I like dark meat. Seriously, I like dark meat. You did. You can get full off this. But good. Well, let me ask you this question. Right. Is it better than the Mountain House Three, beef stew? Two, nine, nine, eight, <laughs> one, five, three. No comment. You know what, Bo? You were correct. You ain't never gonna get this out. Wait, well, I'm gonna get it out, but you were correct. That's good. Even with liquid in there, it will burn. It's good. Oh, I didn't know that. Burnt is better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know how when you eat that steak and you got them little burnt parts and oh, it yeah. just tastes little, so good? Little grill, char grill. Yes. We actually cooked this longer than it should have been because we kept, we actually cooked the chicken and then we added the cabbage later on, which we shouldn't have, and then we added the onions later on, which we shouldn't have, but. Oh, there's onions right there. Uh, everybody kept Get that onion. screaming they wanted something different. Kathy said she wanted great. some hey, man. chicken great. and I just eat the onion by itself. Ooh, Kathy said good. she wanted that's chicken and cut your camera off, come over here, dig in. Great. I'm gonna do. Very great. Bacon? It was the bacon that burnt? Oh, come on now. It couldn't have been the bacon. It had to be the cabbage, which was stuffed down the sides, or you know what? I know what it was. 
y'all didn't get to see this on the edited version but it was actually the chicken skin that chicken skin was attached once it spread open once she was fully cooked she was ready to go the beer had burned out look at the chicken skin <sighs> still kind of tasty not bad everybody that had it liked it I don't like showing failures here on YouTube I just don't like doing it but you know what it comes down to this when you know how to cook and you got pride in how you cook and then you cook out there and you film it well there's something called intoxication and lateness of adding ingredients and this that and the other well, let me tell you right now that was a failure a failure but that's real life and it was actually good enough to eat to consume me personally it was not a gourmet meal and that's exactly how I leave it and I'm gonna post this video to let everybody know that Manland 121 as good as he can cook doesn't mean he's perfect and not many two pity people out there really are in real life so like I said in the previous video or either in this video which I'm not sure where it was this is reality cooking campfire cooking is not easy is very difficult because you've got uncontrolled temperatures that you're trying to control and unless you really understand and master those temperatures and uh, uh, techniques it's just trial and error folks trial and error now I understand a lot about outdoor cooking however I knew that when I added that cabbage and that bacon I knew the bacon wasn't gonna burn that cabbage more or less the chicken the chicken was overcooked at this point and I added more ingredients to cook wrong decision bad judgment learn from my mistakes you learn from my mistakes amateur artist Martin D. Chandler once again from man land and I will revisit this oh most definitely and I promise you this I won't edit the video to make it seem like I succeeded no trial and error folks like my brother says trial and error y'all take them easy and take them care once again